after Cody Rhodes deactivated his Twitter this week in an appearance on Busted Open Radio last Friday, Rhodes announced to the host that he would soon be leaving the social media platform. Rhodes cited the amount of sniping and negativity on Twitter as the reason, reason um, telling, that, telling them that he would exclusively now be on Instagram. He said this, quote, Yesterday was my last day on Twitter. Because of the sniping and negativity out there, I just moved everything to Instagram. Um, and this has sparked a little bit of a debate online. Of course it has because wrestling fans have to involve themselves in everything. Um, and some people are mad that Cody Rhodes is leaving Twitter because they're calling him a snowflake. They're calling him, you know, whatever because he can't handle some bad tweets thrown his way. Other people are just like... I mean, Twitter is pretty toxic to begin with. <laughs> and once you throw wrestling fans in there, oh, it becomes a whole different level of toxicity. But Trevor, um, what do you kind of make of this news uh, and the reasons that Cody Rhodes gave about him leaving Twitter? I mean, you said it best. Uh, Twitter is toxic as fuck. Completely toxic. It like I, I sometimes look at Twitter and I'm like, ah, Jesus Christ, why? But, um... Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess it could also be him, like, trying to, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of, like, rile up the fans a little bit because, you know, wrestling fans, they have nothing else to worry about. <laughs> what do you what do you think about, you know, just wrestling fans on Twitter in general? Because, man, Twitter is a toxic place, but wrestling Twitter is just a whole different like ballpark. Like, we, wrestling fans get mad hyped, mad upset about every little thing. Like, like and, and I think Cody has a point. Cody has a point about wrestling fans being sniping and, 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 and being, you know, just vitriolic on Twitter. It's true. I, I would argue that wrestling fans are some of the worst people on Twitter. By the way, follow us at Real Take Sports on Twitter. Um, but 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 you could make the argument that that they are some of like 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 probably one of the worst communities on Twitter because you know do we have moments where we all come together and 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 do good things? Yes, but I'll, most of the time, I would say like ninety percent of the time, it's arguing, throwing vitriol in the worst possible way against people for gimmicks. Yep. For for you know oh they mispronounced something they misspelled something they misspoke they did so like they did something annoying or they did something you didn't like it's one thing to say I don't like AEW because you know I think it's shitty booking or I think it's it's whatever or I don't like WWE because I think it's shitty booking that's a totally different thing but when you're like saying like people should go kill themselves. It blows my mind. And if you look in the comment threads about a, of, of a lot of these major wrestlers, Brian Danielson got death threats. Brian Danielson, sure nicest guy in pro wrestling, got death threats for going to AEW. When would like, I, I didn't, when will people kind of look at themselves in the mirror and be like, maybe I shouldn't threaten to kill someone because of, of a stupid, nonsensical wrestling thing that doesn't even directly impact my life? When uh, Roman Reigns went out for his, uh, his his leukemia, they they crucified him on the internet. It was so many, and when he, when he actually when he finally came back, they said it was a work. They said he wasn't stick. They said oh, he used he used sympathy to both lives. It was so much. Even recently, with John Mox to get you know getting the help he 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 needs, they they crucified that too. It's wrestling fans, along with. Any sports fans, football, uh, wrestling fans, oh, MMA fans are probably the worst. And like, all these people suck, completely suck. And you're like, what the f like? Why, like, why do it all of this? Like, why are you even like? Are you? What, what in your life makes you think that it is your business to threaten? A person that is leaving for some something important, like because they need to take care of themselves or anything like what? What gives you the right to to do that? Doesn't make any sense. Because I paid twenty dollars for a ticket once, therefore I'm entitled to say whatever the <laughs> hell I want, whenever the hell I God want. God damn it! I'll do what I want. I want to. <laughs> I do what I want. Whatever I do what I want. That's like literally, literally all the annoying wrestling fans on Twitter. Did you see this one thing on Twitter over the weekend? 
so it was at a table. It was Sean Ross Sapp, who was like uh, the 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 journalist, the wrestling journalist from Fightful. Sean Ross Sapp, the boys from True True Heel Heat, uh, SP3, and uh, JJ. Um, and then, like, a few other people, Denise Salcedo, um, Ron Wilkins, a, a few other people who, who are really good people. They were sitting down at a table at a restaurant in Minneapolis before Full Gear having dinner. And they posted the picture on Twitter or on Instagram, wherever, because having dinner with friends before a great wrestling show. Right. It. I did see this. So many people blew up about it. So many people blew up about it. It was retweeted. There's this jerk of an asshole on on Twitter who I won't even. I'm not gonna acknowledge his name or or his account or whatever because he's he's a dirt bag who who retweeted it saying the most insensitive, honestly offensive stuff. Some of the most offensive stuff you could say, and it was just it and and it blew up from there. And then all the people who hate Sean Ross Sapp started throwing it, you know, somehow trying to throw this picture of just people having a meal, people sitting down smiling before, like, and, and trying to turn that into a controversial thing. And you know, saying that oh, you too can have, uh, you know, bat like well, it's, I don't know, like access journalism. I don't know. It was some. BS like that, as if, yeah. as if Sean Ross Sapp needs to be validated to anyone at this point with all with all of his uh, accomplishments and the way he carries himself. Honestly, is probably better than any wrestling quote unquote journalist out there. Yeah, but absolutely. The fact that people get mad about that picture and now it's turning this whole thing. Like I, I saw, I think it was um, Ron Wilkins on Twitter. He was he like he took that picture and he put it into uh, into the format for Dark Side of the Ring, and he was like Dark Side of the Ring season four. The picture. And it was like their picture <laughs> in a preview. It was, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. And I was like, That's yeah, because because rest, wrestling fans has made it, made these, we can make the most simple, nonsensical thing into the biggest controversy ever because that's what a lot of the vitriolic ones do. Yeah, it is. It's stupid. Super stupid. Be better. Be better. Honestly. Exactly. Be better. Please Think do. if you tweet something out, before you do it, before you hit send, really think about it. It's like, is this worth my time? Is it worth the the 10 likes I'm going to get and the little clout and the feeling of importance I'm going to get from Twitter? Is it worth it? And people want to say, oh, you're on Twitter too. Damn right I'm on Twitter. You know why? Because I don't one, I don't take it seriously. Two, I need to promote this show, which premieres live every single Tuesday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever new videos release. Also, head on over to patreon.com forward slash real take sports, real take sports.com, and all that jazz. Because I got shit to promote. If it be <laughs> like that, thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also, remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.